Hi lovely Lane's End, Mrs Price here. The story I'm going to read tonight is called The Wish Cat. It's one of my favourites. Holly's house had a cat flap. It was a small door in a big door so the cat could come and go. But Holly didn't have a cat. One night, something magical happened. Holly saw a falling star. As the star trailed across the sky, she made a wish. I wish I had a kitten, she whispered. A tiny cuddly kitten who could jump in and out of the cat flap. Crash! Something big landed on the windowsill outside. It wasn't a kitten, it was Tom, the scruffiest, most raggedy cat Holly had ever seen. He sat there in the moonlight, smiling a crooked smile. Meow! I'm Tom, your wish cat, he seemed to say. It's a mistake, cried Holly. I wished for a kitten. Tom didn't think Holly had made a mistake. He rubbed his torn ear against the window and howled so loudly it made him cough and splutter. Meow, ow, ow, ow. Holly hid under her quilt, hoping that he'd go away. The next morning, Tom was still there, waiting for her outside the cat flap. He wanted to come in and he bought her a present of a smelly old piece of fish. Yuck, said Holly. She picked it up and dropped it in the dustbin. Tom looked puzzled. Bad cat, she said, shooing him away. Go on, go home, said Holly, walking across to her swing. But Tom was there before her. He sharpened his claws on the swing and washed his coat noisily, pulling out bits of fur and spitting them everywhere. At lunchtime, Tom sat on the windowsill watching Holly eat. She broke off a piece of her sandwich and passed it out to him through the cat flap. Tom wolfed it down, purring all the while. In the afternoon, a cold wind swept through the garden and Holly had to wear her jacket and scarf. Tom didn't seem to feel the cold. He followed her around chasing leaves, balancing along the top of the fence, showing off. Soon it was time for Holly to go indoors to tea. Bye then, Tom, she said, and she stroked his tatty head. Tom followed her across to the door and settled himself down by the cat flap. That evening it snowed. Gleaming pom-poms of snow danced in the air. Outside the cat flap, Tom curled himself into a ragged ball to keep warm. Soon there was a white cushion of snow all over the doorstep and on Tom. Holly heard him meowing miserably. She ran to the cat flap and held it open. Tom came in shaking snow all over the kitchen floor. Poor old Tom, said Holly. He ate a large plate of food and drank an even larger bowl of warm milk. Tom purred louder than ever when Holly dried him with her kitchen towel.
soon, Tom had settled down snug on Holly's bed. Holly stroked his scruffy fur and together they watched the glittering stars. Then suddenly another star fell. Holly couldn't think of a single thing to wish for. She had everything she wanted and so had Tom. Good night, Lane's End.